In southern New York, Brooklyn is a straight, spacious, but dirty, dilapidated street. At night, the commercial streets, office buildings and residential buildings in the distance light up with dim lights. A young Asian man, wearing a plaid shirt and jeans, sneakily squatted beside a crossroads outside East Fuli Bash. He has been on the street for more than four hours. His name is Gao Fei, he is an unemployed young man, and he did not belong to this world originally. Eighteen hours ago, Gao Fei woke up from his dream and found himself in a completely unfamiliar world. At the same time, a memory that did not belong to him appeared in his mind This is America, which is the same as a certain Western country in his original world. In addition, there are many celebrities known to Goofy in this world. Steve Rogers, Tony Stark, Norman Osborn. The characters that originally appeared only in comics and movies have become real characters in this world, and Goofy has also become a member of this world. Not only that, but Gao Fei who came through is also bound with a superhero system, and Gao Fei can upgrade by acquiring other people's worship points or admiration points, thereby improving his own various items. Attributes It seems that traveling with the system is a very exciting thing, but Gao Fei collapsed. As a senior otaku, he doesn't want to travel, let alone travel to the Marvel world that destroys the world at every turn. Gao Fei just wanted to go back to the world that belonged to him, sit on the sofa of his own house, open a bottle of Fat House Happy Water, and watch the superheroes on TV fight, instead of being a superhero himself. So Gao Fei decided that he had to go back. Go back to the original world. Fortunately, there is no such thing as an invincible way. There is a bug in the superhero system after the death of the host Goofy, the host can return to the original world before crossing. However, this is a system full of positive energy that conforms to the core values of archaeology. This system strictly prohibits all behaviors that are harmful to the physical and mental growth of the host, which means that the host must never end his life by means of self-discipline, self-mutilation, etc. And even smoking, alcohol abuse and other bad habits that are detrimental to physical health are unenforceable. Once the host has a tendency to harm itself, the system will automatically take over the control of the host's body. In the same way, actively picking quarrels and provoking trouble and endangering the personal safety of others is also explicitly prohibited by the system, which means that Gao Fei cannot instigate passers-by in the Marvel world to kill him, thus forcibly dying. Under the constraints of the superhero system, Goofy can hardly find a way to kill quickly, but as a system full of positive energy, all self-sacrificing behaviors are allowed by the system. That is, if the host is protecting others, public safety, or collective property, then he can do his own harm in other words, you can't kill for no reason, but you can sacrifice for righteousness. In the simple and simple Brooklyn area, it is too simple to want to die heroically. This task is not challenging at all. For example, this crossroads in front of Gao Fei is a good place to die heroically. On one side is East Frybash, a famous black district in Brooklyn, and on the other is the famous dirty nightclub Dark Frontier in the Southern District. Drunk driving, drug driving, and unlicensed driving abound, which makes this intersection in front of you known as Death Crossing. Is notorious for the nickname. In the first half of the year, a total of 19 traffic accidents occurred at this intersection, of which two people were killed on the spot. A considerable part of the Brooklyn police force was deployed here, but unfortunately, the results were limited. No police car has come to station tonight. The unruly prodigals around him have completely liberated their nature. In Gao Fei's opinion, this junction of death is the door for him to return to the real world. The hazy night is like a deadly bell. As the night gets darker, the nocturnal animals in the city gradually begin to lose their senses. Subwoofers roared in the hustle and bustle of the nightclub in the distance, vulgar cursing sounds were heard from time to time in East Fuliba, and the hurried passers-by on the sidewalk looked around cautiously, and the native Brooklynites knew that this was the brink of hell. Gao Fei stared intently at the intersection, waiting for a speeding fast car to rush out. Come on, come on, 
where have all the bikers gone? When did Brooklynites be so law abiding? I'm so disappointed. The hard work paid off, and Gao Fei's nearly five hour wait was not in vain. With the two beams of lead headlights moving from far to near, a violent engine roar suddenly came from the streets of the southern district. The sports car gallops with exhaust. At this time, there were four pedestrians passing by on the sidewalk. Two of the white ants were alert to the danger and took small steps to dodge to the side. A black young man was tall, and left the danger in two steps. In the area, a young nurse with earphones was left, who knew nothing about the speeding car, and was still walking around on the edge of death. Gao Fei's mouth curled into a smile, I just like your spirit of not being afraid of death. Boom boom boom. The sound of the engine became more and more restless and the yellow sports car ran through the red light and headed straight for the crosswalk. If nothing else happened, the nurse would soon be sent to the sky. At the critical moment, Gao Fei jumped up like a cheetah, he walked around the crowd in front of him in three steps, and jumped to the nurse on the sidewalk with his feet. Be careful! The nurse was first shaken by the headlights of the speeding sports car, and then saw the high flying like a hungry tiger on the opposite side. The two completely different shocks in both directions caught her off guard, and she threw away the leather bag in her hand in horror screamed. But her cry only lasted for a short second, and soon she was pushed out by Gao Fei. At this time, a harsh brake sounded, and the yellow sports car braked urgently, and two deep black tire lines were drawn on the ground. And then Bang knocked Gao Fei to the ground. Gao Fei rolled around twice and the surroundings were dead silent. After a while, a terrified scream broke out from the crowd. It's fatal. Someone was hit and killed again. It's really the intersection of death. Call an ambulance. But about half a minute later, Gao Fei, who was knocked into the air, struggled to get up. Damn, he didn't die. Gao Fei only felt that his left elbow was in great pain, it should be broken and 80% of it was still shattered, but his consciousness was very clear, and he had no intention of dying obviously, he failed to sacrifice successfully. Depressed, Gao Fei turned his head angrily and walked towards the yellow sports car that ran a red light and hit someone. At this time, the driver of the yellow sports car timidly climbed out of the car. With so many people watching, it is not a good idea to hit and run. This is a strong middle-aged Hispanic man with the smell of alcohol on his body. Obviously, he must have just had a good drink in Dark Edge. How did you drive? Gao Fei, regardless of the severe pain in his left arm, rushed up and picked up the middle-aged man's collar. Yes. I'm sorry, I... The middle-aged man's attitude was not bad, he wanted to apologize with a big tongue. But Gao Fei's next sentence abruptly gagged all his words back into his mouth. How come you can't even kill someone? The Hispanic man looked at Goofy with a twitch in his mouth, he almost doubted his ears. How did you drive, how come you can't even kill someone? Brother, who of us drinks too much, you don't play cards according to the routine. Taking a deep breath, the Latino man said sincerely, Do you need me to take you to the hospital? Your arm should be broken. Listen, I will give you a considerable amount of compensation, but I hope we can privately. Gao Fei didn't have the patience to listen to the Hispanic man at all. He didn't care about this body at all. Anyway, he could travel back after death. He just wanted to die in honor as soon as possible, so that he could leave the Marvel world and return to reality. Seeing Gao Fei turn around and leave, the Latino man was confused again. Hello, sir, where are you going? Sir, I can take you to a nearby hospital. Gao Fei waved his hand dashingly, no need. After speaking, he immediately dived into the crowd. He is worried that the traffic accident will attract people from the NYPD, New York Police Department, which will only involve him in a long and tedious process. He has no time to waste in the game world, and he must return to reality as soon as possible. But the severe pain in his left elbow made him dizzy and even affected his normal movement. 
Passing through the crowd, Gao Fei couldn't help but stop and rest for a while. The severe pain almost overwhelmed him. It seemed that he had to deal with the fracture of his left elbow first. Damn, do you want to go back and let that middle-aged man take me to the hospital? Gao Fei thought to himself. At this moment, Gao Fei heard the noisy discussions in the crowd. This boy saved that girl. Recklessly saving people is like a scene in movies. This young man is very brave. Brooklyn never lacks heroes. Immediately afterwards, data kept popping up in Goofy's player attribute panel. Worship from Kathy plus 2 Worship from George plus 1 Worship from Amanda plus 5. Goofy immediately remembered the setting of the superhero system. According to the system settings, the host can level up by obtaining worship points or admiration points in the Marvel world. Just now, he rescued the girl bravely at the bustling crossroads and was witnessed by many passers-by, which undoubtedly helped him gain a lot of worship value. In just half a minute, Gao Fei has gained a full 500 plus worship points. If he continues at this speed, he will be able to level up in half a minute. Damn! Gao Fei was very depressed, and upgrading was not a good thing for him. Leveling up means becoming stronger, and his physique, strength and agility will greatly increase, but the stronger Goofy's attributes are, the less likely he will die, and the less likely he will be able to return to the real world. What Gao Fei needs now is to kill quickly, not to upgrade and add points, but the worship value of the attribute panel is all the way up, and there is a trend of getting faster and faster. Damn it, it! Goofy's eyes flashed gold stars, he couldn't tell whether it was because of elbow pain or depression. At this moment, a gentle voice came from behind. Hey, are you all right? Thank you for saving me just now, thank you so much. Gao Fei turned around and saw a young nurse with clear eyebrows and a hot figure. The little nurse had pale cheeks, and apparently had not recovered from the thrill just now. At the same time, she also had some bruises on her arms and knees. After she pushed it away, she also fell heavily to the ground. At the same time, the data on Goofy's attribute panel jumped wildly. Worship from Kristen Palmer plus 3 Worship from Kristen Palmer plus 3 Worship from Kristen Palmer plus 3 Fuck me? Is Kristen Palmer this girl? Why is she so eloquent about her admiration for me? This is too grateful, isn't it? The nurse girl is about to him to level 2. You're welcome, it's just a matter of raising your hands. Gao Fei quickly made a perfunctory sentence, then turned around and ran. Please don't worship me anymore, I'll level up if you worship me again. As a result, the nurse girl saw that this kind man did not want to leave his name for doing good deeds, and he didn't even want to be paid. Based on her appearance and figure, if an average man has a life-saving grace for her, 80% of them will ask her to promise her, but this Asian young man in front of him has no evil intentions, it's simply too noble. So. Worship from Kristen Palmer plus 5 Worship from Kristen Palmer plus 5 Worship from Kristen Palmer plus 5 Gao Fei looked at the attribute page and was about to collapse. Sister, why are you so weird? I avoided you, and you still worshipped me, and it seems that the more I ignore you, the more you worship me. Do your family know that you are so active? Not only that, the nurse also trotted all the way to catch up. Hey. Wait a minute, your arm seems to be broken. Go to a nearby hospital for treatment. I happen to be a nurse and can help you. Gao Fei almost collapsed, and turned around with a look of despair, what on earth are you trying to do? The nurse pointed timidly at Gao Fei's deformed elbow, I just want to help you deal with the injury. It seems that your fracture is very serious. If you don't deal with it in time, there will be sequelae. On the other hand, backstage adoration values are still soaring. That Asian boy left after saving people? Don't leave a name for good deeds. Worship from Hank plus 3 He rushed up without hesitation, he is really a hero. Worship from Mary plus 4 He stopped a tragedy. Worship from Dan plus 2. So, with the assistance of the general public in Brooklyn, 
Goofy finally upgraded. The LV1 of the attribute panel leaked with a golden light, and the gorgeous became LV2. At the same time, his stats in all aspects have been improved. UU reading www.uugonshu.com Physical Fitness, 0.81.2, the average of normal adult males is 1.0, the same below, Strength, 0.91.1 Agile, 1.11.2 Spirit, 1.01.0 Level Up Bonus, Repair Current Physical Wounds. After that, Gao Fei's strangely deformed elbow returned to normal at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the pain disappeared immediately. Gao Fei was worried that the supernatural quick recovery would scare the nurse in front of him, so he hurriedly turned away from her sight. Let's go, let me help you deal with the fracture. The nurse didn't notice Gao Fei's change, and said with concern, By the way, I haven't introduced myself yet, my name is Christine, and I'm in the nearby hospital. Be the night nurse, come with me, I will take care of you. However, Gao Fei resolutely rejected the beauty's kindness. No need, I can handle this minor injury myself. This is not a minor injury. If the fracture is not handled properly, it is likely to cause secondary trauma. Nurse Christine said nervously, and the bone spurs in the body will. Goodbye Christine, I still have something to do so I'll go first. Gao Fei interrupted the nurse rudely, and quickly left this place of right and wrong by taking advantage of the darkness. You won't worship me anymore, will you? Nurse girl. Gao Fei gently twisted his newly recovered arm, thinking in his heart. But two seconds later. Worship from Kristen Palmer plus five worship from Kristen Palmer plus five worship from Kristen Palmer plus five. Walking along the path in the southern district to the house, Gao Fei gained nearly 2,000 worship points within half an hour. When he reached the door, the worship points in the backstage gradually stopped increasing. Gao Fei's home in Marvel World is a small apartment located in an old residential building behind Macy's department store. The apartment is about 60 square meters with one living room, one bathroom, and two bedrooms. The kitchen is attached to the living room in an open manner. This apartment is owned by Goofy's white mother, Lucy. The innocent and reckless Lucy gave birth to Goofy when she was 18 years old when she was enlarged by an unnamed Chinese. When Goofy was 5 years old, Lucy tragically died of an alcohol overdose. After his mother died, Goofy's uncle Frank moved in to be his guardian, but the main reason for this uncle's move was the two-bedroom, one-bedroom apartment that Lucy left behind. Frank is a native of Brooklyn. He dropped out of high school after a year and a half of high school and entered the society. At the age of 37, Frank deliberately broke of his left hand with a lathe in a steel workshop. By doing so, he made a fortune from his old employer, the insurance company and the local trade union, and also obtained the money from the government. Eligibility for subsidy benefits Thanks to this accident, he never worked again. Frank is addicted to alcohol and goes out at night. In recent years, he simply hangs around in major liquor stores and drinks all night. During the day, he just finds a sunny plaza bench and sleeps all day, so Goofy has not seen him for nearly a month. This old guy. But when he got home today, Frank was sitting on the sofa in the living room watching TV uncharacteristically. Gao Fei thought it would take some time before he could see this rambunctious uncle but he didn't expect to meet him so soon. However, according to Frank's character, he will soon disappear from the world. With the amount of alcohol he drinks every day, it would not be a surprise if he suddenly drank to death and flew high outside. Oh, you're back, my good boy. Frank turned his head to look at Goofy who came in through the door, and said drunkenly. There are several bottles of hard liquor on the coffee table, and the old guy never leaves his body at night. Hi, Frank. Goofy nodded dumbly, then walked straight to his room. Have you found a job? Frank said as he picked up the bottle and took another sip. I guess I still have no clue, right? It doesn't matter, this is the way of the dog X. 
The country shouts freedom, democracy, equality, and as a result citizens can't find even the most basic job of his ex. That's because you don't plan to find a job at all. You think that receiving subsidies and cheating are enough for you to live your whole life. Gao Fei couldn't help but complain. Oh, it's not because I don't want to work, it's because I yearn for freedom. Frank plausibly said, I don't want to hang around in the company and be yelled at by some shit-filled guys, I'm a dignified person. Saying that, he held up the wine bottle in his hand, respect freedom and dignity. Gao Fei shook his head slightly, obviously disapproving of his remarks. Seeing Gao Fei's face full of denial, Frank put down the bottle and said, Hey, boy, I know what you're thinking. You think your uncle is not aggressive and is a silverfish in society, right? Gao Fei spread his hands, I didn't say that. Frank became a little excited, but that's what you mean, your thoughts are already written on your face, but you have to understand that I have also struggled, and today's free life is also achieved by my own efforts. Speaking of which, Frank stretched out his left hand with only three fingers and shook it in front of Gao Fei, see? This is my effort, this is my sacrifice, if it wasn't for my brave dedication to myself, you don't have a father. Mother's boy starved to death on the streets of Brooklyn. Okay, I admit your contribution. Goofy didn't bother to argue with Frank, who was already seven points drunk, and perfunctorily approved his heresy and went back to the room. He also had to quickly figure out him quickly and effectively. You can't go to the intersection of death anymore. It seems that being hit by a car is not so easy, especially in such a place where people come and go, the worship value is obtained too quickly. The best solution is to find a sparsely populated place and act bravely and quietly. But what is there worth doing in a sparsely populated place? Gao Fei used his brain quickly, and then quickly found the answer. A small supermarket two blocks away. The owner of the supermarket is an old Chinese aunt, who has opened a supermarket here for four or five years. However, because the aunt is a Chinese immigrant, she is not familiar with the place here, and she has no son and only daughter, so she is inevitably bullied. Was repeatedly bullied. Every night, someone would go to auntie's supermarket to scavenge for some oil and water. Auntie couldn't bear it, but this was the only way to make a living. In order to support her family, she could only bear the burden of humiliation. In this era of Brooklyn, the Chinese are living in dire straits. It's time for Brooklyn to see the unity of the Chinese. Goofy made up his mind, got out of bed, put on his coat, and went straight to the small supermarket. Because this area is too close to the black district of East Fulibash, you you reading www. Therefore, there are very few pedestrians on the street at night, and most of the shops on the street also close early, and only a few restaurants are still lit up. Goofy wore a hoodie with his hands in his pockets, and walked all the way to places where there were no lights and no one around. He knew that Brooklyn was full of filth at night, and there were a lot of lawbreakers. He hoped that he would run into some gangsters with guns who did bad things, have another impassioned heroic sacrifice and then everything would be fine and return to the real world. But things didn't work out. It turned out that the public security in Brooklyn was not as bad as he imagined. Until he walked to the lucky small supermarket opened by the Chinese ant, he met two people with heavy makeup who made various hints to him. Nothing but women. After all, this is New York, not Gotham. She looked at her watch, it was five past ten o'clock in the evening. The timing is not bad, it would be better if it was later. Gao Fei pushed the door into the supermarket, and a prompt sound automatically sounded at the door of the supermarket. Taking a glance, there were no other customers in the supermarket except the aunt who was quietly knitting a sweater behind the checkout counter. All is well. Gao Fei was somewhat disappointed, and simply wandered between the shelves. He stood in the snack area and the daily necessities area for a while but his eyes were always on the window, waiting for the criminals who came to rob. Ten minutes passed. Twenty minutes passed. Thirty minutes passed. 
the small supermarket has never been harassed by bad guys. Until the 33rd minute, the aunt who knitted the sweater behind the cashier couldn't help coughing and said to Gao Fei in pure Chinese English, Don't wait, young man, my girl is going to dance today, won't she? Come. The old auntie's words made Gao Fei wonder whether to laugh or cry, and co-authored with the auntie, she regarded herself as a young Sishun youth who covets her girl. You misunderstood ma'am, I have no idea about your girl. Gao Fei reluctantly clarified. The old aunt showed a sly smile and said slowly, Young man, you've been standing in front of women's products for more than ten minutes. You're definitely not here to buy something, right? Only then did Gao Fei realize that in front of him was a row of sanitary napkins, tampons and cotton pads, and he didn't need any of these items. The old aunt continued to reason, Looking at you, you are gentle and polite, you are definitely not here to rob, you have walked under the camera several times, the thief is not so stupid. Then you look clean and decent, and you don't look like a homeless stray. Han, boy, apart from thinking about my girl, I really can't think of why you spend more than half an hour here. Gao Fei was at a loss for words, he couldn't always say that he was here to act bravely. The old aunt squinted her eyes and looked at Gao Fei, and smiled kindly, it's okay, don't be shy with auntie, there are not many Asians in Brooklyn, and it is even more difficult for young people to deal with people, I actually always want my family the girl finds a Chinese. After all, the culture is similar and they have a common language in life. If she brings me a white son in law I really don't know how to be a mother-in-law to a foreigner. By the way, young man, are you Chinese? Auntie hadn't met a yellow race for a long time, so she couldn't help but opened up to Gao Fei. My father is Chinese, my mother is white, and I am mixed race. Gao Fei responded awkwardly. Mixed? I really didn't see it. I can only say that your father's genes are too powerful. You seem to be Chinese at all, and your mother's genes have not left any traces on you. Auntie rambled. Yes, right. Gao Fei nodded. How did you meet my girl? Auntie quickly brought the topic back to the topic, is it her high school classmate? Or a college alumni? My girl is pretty good, right? Although she grew up in Brooklyn, she is still in her bones. A gentle and virtuous Chinese girl. Cough, auntie, I really don't know your girl. I'm just here, to hang out. I don't have the key to the house, so I can't enter the house for the time being, so I just came to the supermarket to have a look. Gao Fei finally came up with a more reasonable one. Excuse. Ah. When the aunt heard this, a trace of obvious loss flashed in her eyes, I really don't know my girl. I really don't know. Gao Fei told the truth. Auntie lowered her head a little shyly, look at me, I'm so rash, I actually misunderstood you, pestering you to say a lot of things, it's shameful, shameful. Gao Fei quickly comforted, it's okay, Auntie, it's a pleasure to be able to chat with my fellow villagers. Auntie laughed again when she heard this, squinted her eyes and said, What a considerate young man. After speaking, she suddenly took out her wallet, dug out a photo inside, and handed it to Gao Fei, No, this is my girl, look, she looks so pretty. Gao Fei couldn't bear to refuse, so he took it over and saw that the photo was a typical southern girl, delicate, gentle, and her eyes were very agile. It's pretty. Gao Fei nodded in approval. You don't have a partner, do you? Auntie asked with a smile, Young man, how old are you and what kind of job are you doing, can you tell Auntie about it? I don't have a job. Gao Fei replied neatly and returned the photo at the same time. It is estimated that after hearing this answer, the aunt did not have the will to match him and her girl. Unexpectedly, the old aunt did not lose her enthusiasm but started to introduce her work diligently. The job is easy to find. Brooklyn still has certain preferential treatment for Chinese employment. In order to avoid being labeled as racist, some companies recruit one or two people from each ethnic group. 
you as long as you apply for a job in a workplace where there are no yellow people, 99% of the time you will be successful. Thank you auntie, I don't plan to work yet. Gao Fei politely declined. How can you do it if you don't work? If you don't work, you can't earn money. How can you live without earning money? Young people should know how to plan ahead and save some savings while they are strong, so that they can live well in the future. The more she talked, the more vigorous she became, and she simply acted as Gao Fei's life mentor. Gao Fei listened with and without one, just to pass the time, but in a blink of an eye it was eleven o'clock in the evening, the small supermarket was about to close, and there were still no criminals coming to rob. It looks like I can't go back today. Gao Fei complained in his heart, not knowing what happened in the real world and what impact he would have on the original world after crossing. Okay, boy, auntie is closing. After ten o'clock, auntie packed up the sweater in her hand and said. Oh, then I should go too. Gao Fei said in a loss. Come back when you have time. Auntie has a good impression of Gao Fei, by the way, what should I call you? My name is Goofy. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Goofy said with a smile, I live behind Macy's. Nice to meet you, Gao Fei. Auntie smiled kindly. Me too. Gao Fei politely said goodbye to his aunt, then turned around and dived into the darkness of Brooklyn. Unexpectedly, just after walking a few steps, a burly man in a dark shirt and a baseball cap passed him. Judging from the appearance of this man, he should be going to Jixiang supermarket. Gao Fei couldn't help showing a smile, then turned to hide under a tree beside the road. This is Brooklyn. As expected, the burly man pressed the brim of his baseball cap at the door, and then walked straight into the closing auspicious supermarket. When the aunt looked up, her face suddenly turned sallow. Give me two bottles of Cohen, and a few more packs of Marlboro, and find me the change in the cash register, hurry up. The burly man shook his hand in his loose shirt, and the outline of a gun could be vaguely seen through the shirt. You've been here four times this month. The aunt apparently recognized the man's identity and begged in a low voice, where can I give you any change? Stop talking nonsense and do as I say. If I hadn't covered you normally, more people would have come. The burly man whispered, you know how miserable the Chinese people who open supermarkets in Brooklyn are, don't you? My daughter is in college, and she is going to learn dance recently, please. Auntie pleaded, come back next month, okay? There are three days until next month. Ms. Wang, it looks like I have to show you some color. The man's voice became more sinister, you brought it on yourself. However, before he finished speaking, the automatic reminder at the entrance of the supermarket rang. With the automatic welcome sound at the door of the supermarket, he flew away and returned. His appearance caught Aunt Wang and the burly man by surprise, and the conversation between the two was forced to stop. Gao Fei. What are you doing back here? Auntie Wang said worriedly, go home quickly. While speaking, Auntie winked desperately, not wanting Gao Fei to get involved in this conflict. Most of the robbers who came to the supermarket were outlaws with extreme personalities, with one or two black guns in their hands. Once Aunt Wang's words and deeds offended these lunatics, they could shoot at any time on impulse. Because of this, most of the supermarket owners in the surrounding area choose to compromise. Anyway, all they want is the cash in the cash register, and they only grab a hundred or so knives each time. If they fight against them, or call the police, once they are stimulated the sensitive nerves of these lunatics, they really can do anything. But Gao Fei likes outlaws, and he is not uncommon for ordinary petty fights. Dude, do you have a gun? Gao Fei pointed to the firm outline under the burly man's shirt and asked with a smile. What do you think? The burly man snorted coldly, and shook the tough guy in his shirt again, don't meddle in your own business, get out of here. Yo, it's quite irritable. Gao Fei was even happier, drinking or smoking. You don't look very calm. 
The burly man was startled by Gao Fei's words, how could this kid be so calm when he was pointed at by a gun? Aunt Wang turned pale with fright, and whispered, Gao Fei, hurry up! Hurry up! Gao Fei didn't listen to the advice, walked up to the burly man with a smile, stretched out his hand and patted his shoulder. Dude, what's the matter? I think the Chinese are easy to bully. Are they born with weaklings? They want to ask for money from us while shaking the gun in their hands? We are not your parents, and we are not obliged to provide you with living expenses. After speaking, Aunt Wang was shocked. Gao Fei, you. The burly man was even more unexpected, but he immediately took a step forward and rubbed Gao Fei's waist with the hard object in his jacket pocket. Boy, do you want to die? Gao Fei nodded immediately, I want to die. What? The burly man was startled again, this guy who dares to love is a lifeless man. Gao Fei was dazed when he saw the big brother in front of him, and quickly said loudly again, if you want to get money from here, just cut a hole in me. If you don't have the guts, get out of here and don't let me see it again. That white face of yours that's so vain. You. The burly man was trembling all over, and his eyes were red. Gao Fei secretly rejoiced, this guy is finally going to explode. However, at this moment, the burly man spat angrily on the ground. Fu XK. Where's the neuropathy coming out of, what the hell, has Brooklyn been occupied by neuropathy all these years? Damn it! As he said that, the burly man turned around and walked outside the supermarket this guy was cowardly, and he actually ran away. Aunt Wang was overjoyed and let out a long sigh of relief. But Gao Fei quit, where can the ducks fly? Friend, don't go. Gao Fei chased after him with three steps and two steps. He finally ran into someone with a gun, but he couldn't just let him go. Aunt Wang was taken aback, this kid is trying to capture the gangster bravely. The burly man was also dumbfounded. I have stopped robbing, what else do you want? It's not enough to drive away Lao Tzu, but also to capture Lao Tzu on the spot? Seeing Gao Fei showing his teeth and claws, the burly man suddenly felt guilty. After thinking about it, he decided to retreat quickly. Nima. I have never heard that the Chinese in this piece are so fierce. Could he be good at Kung Fu? Unfortunately, the burly man is tall, but his movements are a bit clumsy. As soon as he opened the door of the supermarket, Gao Fei stumbled on his calf. Puff! The burly man fell a dog and gnawed on the mud, and a jet black object flew out from his shirt. My gun! My gun! The burly man shouted desperately. Gao Fei looked up and saw that it was indeed a gun, but it was a toy gun made of plastic material. The switch threw off the switch, and the muzzle of the toy gun flashed red, green, and green lights and there was a very unrealistic sound. Simulated gunfire. Bye 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 in Gao Fei's heart, 10,000 alpacas are galloping, big brother, you are making trouble. What about the gun? Is this your gun? You're kidding me. Gao Fei was so angry that he went wild, and kicked the burly man's back, are you robbery with a toy gun? Hey, don't be so impulsive, I'm desperate to do this. The burly man immediately turned into a deflated ball, muttering, Brooklyn jobs are being taken away by people of color, those of us native white people really can't find a job. Don't make excuses for me, this is not your reason for breaking the law. Gao Fei said, I've never seen such a weak robber like you, but I'm so disappointed. At the same time, Aunt Wang quickly called the police, and two minutes later, a police car patrolling nearby came galloping. The car door opened, and a burly uncle with Mediterranean haircut in his forties came out. Judging from the dark blue police badge on his shoulder, he should be a sergeant, the equivalent of Sha Zhan in the former Hong Kong police. The bald police officer walked over, took a look and guessed the situation in front of him. Sean, you want to eat in prison again? The police officer said sharply, staring at the burly man. It can be seen that this burly man has long been notorious. 
Everything is a misunderstanding, Hank, I can explain it. Sean, the burly man, said with a flattering smile, while his eyes twitched, thinking about how to exonerate himself. Explain the fart. Hank didn't want to do this at all, and picked up the toy gun next to him, Yu Yu reading www.yuyugonchu. Come you dare to come out and rob a house with this kind of coaxing child. I think you are really poor and crazy. I didn't rob, I was just joking, right, Ms. Wong? I'm joking. Sean turned glib and gave Aunt Wong a wink. Aunt Wong pointed to the surveillance video, everything is recorded here, including the few times he came here this month. Damn. Sean said angrily, you have to pay for what you said. Aunt Wong, on the other hand, has a calm expression on her face since she knew that this guy's gun is a toy gun, and he doesn't seem to have the guts, he is not a desperado at all, Aunt Wong is no longer afraid of this stupid big man. Recalling that she had actually been robbed of a lot of money by him before, Auntie Wong felt ashamed. Give me a copy of these surveillance videos, thank you. Hank said to Aunt Wong, we will file a lawsuit with the local prosecutor as soon as possible, this guy will be severely punished, you can rest assured. Thank you. Aunt Wong nodded. At this moment, Hank looked back at Goofy who was standing beside him. He remembered that Sean, the burly man, was subdued to the ground by Goofy just now. You caught him? Hank asked. That's right. Gao Fei admitted. You know he used a toy gun. Hank asked again. I didn't know it before, but I found out after I caught him. Gao Fei answered truthfully. Tisk. Hank nodded approvingly. Gao Fei's background immediately had a prompt. Admiration from Hank plus one but more data is provided by Aunt Wong. Worship from Wang Xiaoli plus five worship from Wang Xiaoli plus five worship from Wang Xiaoli plus five. Next, Hank asked about the specific process of the robbery, and after saving a copy of the surveillance video of Jixiang supermarket, he escorted the burly man Sean to leave the scene. After dealing with the serious trouble of the confidants who came to search for oil and water every three days, Auntie Wong was in a good mood. It turned out to be a piece of crap. It's a shame that I was so afraid of him before. He has robbed him so many times with a toy gun. Auntie Wong said depressedly. That's why he only dares to bully immigrant women like you, you rubbish. Gao Fei cursed, but it's all right now, send him to prison for a good transformation. Aunt Wong nodded, and then held Gao Fei's hand enthusiastically, Gao Fei, I really thank you so much just now, if it weren't for you, I don't know how long I'd be bullied by this scum. But you don't know. He is using a toy gun, how dare he contradict him like that? Aren't you afraid that he will shoot you? I've already seen that he's a coward. Those who bully women are cowards. Gao Fei lied to cover up, he didn't have the guts to shoot me. Oh. Gao Fei, you are brave and knowledgeable. Aunt Wang became more and more fond of Gao Fei, but still reminded kindly, but you must be careful in the future, there are many shootings in Brooklyn, in case what do you do when you run into a gangster who really dares to shoot? Then I will thank his eighth ancestors. Gao Fei said in his heart, but he still promised, don't worry, auntie, I will be careful. Aunt Wang dragged Gao Fei to see more and more in love, and said with a smile, you helped auntie a lot today. Auntie will invite you to dinner tomorrow, okay? Don't be so polite, auntie. Gao Fei was a little embarrassed, we Chinese are a disadvantaged group in Brooklyn, shouldn't we help each other? If you have anything in the future, feel free to come to me, I will definitely help if you can. Help? No, I must come to my aunt's house for dinner tomorrow, otherwise I will not give my aunt face. Aunt Wang said without giving an inch, she didn't just want to thank Gao Fei, this young man is talented, enthusiastic and brave. The perfect choice for a son-in-law. Auntie Wang has been worrying about her daughter's personal problems for a long time. How could she miss this good guy who delivered it to her door? This mother-in-law, Aunt Wang is determined. 
Seeing Aunt Wang's enthusiasm, Gao Fei couldn't shirk. Okay, then I'll trouble Auntie tomorrow. No trouble, no trouble, this little thing is nothing. By the way, my aunt's house is in the old apartment building behind. My aunt will write you the address. Aunt Wang wrote while speaking, and stuffed it into Gao Fei's shirt pocket after writing. See you tomorrow, my aunt will make crabs for you. Leaving Jixiang supermarket, Gao Fei wandered aimlessly through the alleys all the way from Brooklyn to Queens. He still didn't find any criminals. Homeless idlers can be seen everywhere, but after all, they did not engage in illegal or criminal activities, nor did they endanger the personal safety of others. Under such circumstances, Gao Fei naturally couldn't force himself to act bravely. Strolling all the way to a mean alley behind a commercial street in Queens, Gao Fei finally smelled the breath of bravery. I saw a black minivan parked on the side of the road, and several men dressed in black jumped from it, seeing that if their attire was not an agent handling the case, then 80% of them were criminals. Gao Fei followed them all the way, carefully keeping a safe distance from these people. After turning a few corners in the alley, he saw these men in black walking straight towards a homeless man squatting in the corner. What are you doing? Who are you? The tramp asked nervously. Without saying a word, the man in black rushed over and pinned the homeless man to the ground. Two of them quickly sealed the homeless man's mouth with tape, and then tied his legs and arms. Help! Help! The homeless man shouted, and then he could no longer make any sound, but this scene was clearly seen by Gao Fei, who was hiding not far away. This is kidnapping. And it was the most vulnerable homeless man in the city who was kidnapped. Gao Fei is very excited, this is really a good opportunity to act bravely. First of all, there are five people in the other party, such a huge disparity in the number of people means that if Gao Fei rushes up, he will die. Secondly, there is no one around here, and no one will witness Gao Fei's behavior of saving people. Even if he fails to sacrifice successfully this time, Gao Fei will not be upgraded because of the worship value of the onlookers. So Gao Fei shouted, Hey! Let go of that tramp! After shouting, he strode towards the group of men in black. When the five men in black heard Gao Fei's scolding, they were obviously stunned for a moment, and then they looked at each other, as if they didn't know how to deal with it. Seeing that Gao Fei was about to rush in front of him, unknown one of the five shouted run, so the five ruthless gangsters left the homeless and ran away, disappearing at the other end of the alley in a blink of an eye. X Sport When Gao Fei came after him, the five people had already disappeared, and Gao Fei was black on the spot. What are you afraid of when the five of you hit me and won? Are all criminals in New York so cowardly these days? Without waiting for Gao Fei to chase again, a prompt came from the background of the system. Worship from OLE plus 3 Worship from OLE plus 3 Worship from OLE plus 3 Obviously, OLE is the name of the homeless man. So Goofy had to bend down and untied the tape on the homeless face and legs. UU reading www.uugonshu.com Oh! Thank you, thank you, my friend, you are my savior. OLE the homeless said excitedly, I almost died. God knows where these people in black are going to get me, they may want to throw me directly into the Hudson River. I heard that New York City thinks us homeless people are affecting the city's appearance, and plans to quietly throw us into the river to feed the fish, they must be people from the municipal department, they must be like this. Gao Fei didn't know whether to laugh or cry, this rumor has no credibility at all. These men in black are suspicious and sneaky. They are definitely not people from the official department. 80% of them belong to a private company. As for the purpose of their kidnapping of homeless people, Goofy can almost guess. There is no shortage of crazy genius scientists in New York, and every genius scientist likes to do one or two human experiments. To do experiments, there must be experimental samples, and beggars living on the streets are the best candidates for experimental samples. After all, there are so many homeless people in New York, 
and one or two missing every day will not arouse suspicion. However, these people in black who hijacked homeless people were not professional criminals. They were more like laboratory researchers performing special tasks. Therefore, they were not aggressive and were often timid and cautious. Therefore, even if they are numerous and powerful, they will only flee when they seek out Fei. There is no future in following them, and there is no chance for them to die heroically. The plan failed again, and Gao Fei pinched his forehead depressedly. Take care, my friend, next time you may not be so lucky, after all, I can't stare at you twenty-four hours a day. Gao Fei patted the homeless man on the shoulder, turned and left the alley. The road to death is a long one, and he has to discover more murderous criminals. When the early morning sun filled the streets, New York regained a vibrant look. New York during the day is very different from the night, and all the filth has returned to the nooks and crannies of hiding. One by one, decent and elegant figures in suits and leather shoes walk through the steel forest, making people mistakenly believe that this is a highly civilized, pure land that has eliminated all illegal crimes and human stains. Only when night falls again, those hidden in the corners. Evil will sprout again. Gao Fei dragged his tired body back to the downstairs of his house. It was a night that made him extremely disappointed. So far, he has traveled to the Marvel world for 30 hours. He began to miss the original world madly, and he didn't know whether the original world was safe or not. At this moment, Gao Fei is desperate and confused, all he can do is to die as soon as possible. But from the experience of the first night, it is not easy to survive in the Marvel world, but it is not a simple thing to die in the Marvel world. Such aimless random acts of justice are too inefficient, he must have a systematic death plan will do. When he got home, Gao Fei opened his old laptop, called up the search engine, and typed in a line of words ranking of high-risk occupations in the United States. Instead of wandering around looking for opportunities, it's better to find a dangerous job in a down-to-earth way. Maybe you can die in the line of duty on your first day at work and return to the real world. A series of dangerous jobs soon appeared on the computer screen. Firefighters, social aid workers, lawyers, journalists, lumberjacks. But it's not easy to get these job opportunities. Firefighters need rigorous training and testing. The entire training cycle takes two weeks. Gao Fei didn't spend such a long time on training let alone being an excellent firefighter. How could he die in the line of duty? Although social assistance workers can be employed quickly, the risk factor of this occupation is not high. Looking at the sacrifice cases of social assistance workers in recent years, it is probably due to death from overwork, inhalation of toxic gases, being hit by a falling object and other small probability factors. Being killed in the line of duty in this position is almost the same as winning the Mark VI lottery, the probability is too low. Lawyers and reporters need relevant qualifications. It is 100% impossible to set Gao Fei's education in the game. As for the most dangerous occupation, the lumberjack. The most recent lumberjack job was sought in the northern state of Massachusetts, and by the time he got there, the position would most likely be full. Looking at the job introduction on the screen, Gao Fei let out a long sigh. Why is it so hard to be dead? Please, this is the Marvel world. Where are all the villains who blow up half the city at every turn? However, when the house leaks and it rains overnight, people are unlucky to drink cold water and jam their teeth. Just as Gao Fei was in despair, the system in his head began to churn data again. Worship from Harry plus 2 Worship from Joel plus 3 Worship from Kathy plus 3. What the hell? Gao Fei collapsed. People sat at home and worshipped heaven. I just sat on the bed and met the net. Who so secretly worships me? What's even more annoying is that Gao Fei has already touched the threshold of level 3. According to this speed, he will level up soon. In the end, before Gao Fei could find out the source of these worship values, a prompt popped up in the background. Level up. Physique, 1.21.4 Strength, 1.11.1 Agile, 
1.21.3 Spirit, 1.01.1 Upgrade Bonus, Learn Simple Fighting Techniques. Gao Fei only felt that his eyes were dark, and he fell down on the bed. Love whoever, I can't afford it. Anyway, it's not a Oneida e job to die, so let's get some sleep first. And this moment. In a mean alley behind a commercial street in Queens. The homeless OLE is excitedly telling stories to a group of homeless compatriots. At that time, I was already pinned to the ground and was about to be thrown into the Hudson River by the men in black to feed the fish. As a result, a handsome, strong and brave Asian man fell from the sky and used authentic Chinese Kung Fu to fight the gangsters. I fight side by side with him and resist stubbornly. More than a dozen men in black. Men in black with knives and guns were beaten up by the two of us, and they fled. The scene at that time was really dangerous and dangerous absolutely. Gao Fei didn't sleep soundly this time, he had been dreaming ever since he fell asleep. The content of these dreams are all related to fighting. He dreamed that he fought a whole day with a muscular middle-aged uncle in a martial arts gym. It was already afternoon when I woke up and there were still more than two hours before Aunt Wang's thank you banquet. In the process of sleeping, Gao Fei received several reminders backstage, one of which came from a Chinese name called Cheng Zhiqian. Gao Fei judged that she should be the beautiful girl from Aunt Wang's family. After simply taking a shower and preparing a bottle of red wine, Gao Fei put on his clothes and hurried to Aunt Wang's house. The law and order in Brooklyn is not bad during the day. So Goofy is going to wait until after dinner to find a chance to do justice. Aunt Wang's house is on the second floor of an old apartment building. The cramped corridor is full of rust and mildew. He climbed the stairs to the second floor. Just as Gao Fei was about to identify Aunt Wang's house number, a familiar voice came out. Came from not far away. Thank you Officer Hank, you really helped us a lot. This was Aunt Wang's voice. You're welcome, this is my job. This is Hank's voice. Gao Fei followed the sound and saw that Hank was standing at the door talking to Aunt Wang. He should have come here for the robbery case yesterday, and now he just finished his official business and was about to leave. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Seeing Gao Fei's arrival, Aunt Wang immediately smiled, Gao Fei is here. Officer Hank is looking for you. Looking for me. Gao Fei was slightly surprised, what is Officer Hank looking for me for? Hank came over and patted Gao Fei on the shoulder, don't be nervous, boy, I'm not trying to arrest you. Did you hear from Ms. Wang that you are looking for a job? When did I say I'm looking for a job? Gao Fei asked in a tandem. He decided to look for a job this morning, and Aunt Wang was obviously making an assertion. Sure enough, Aunt Wang hid behind Hank and winked at Gao Fei, desperately trying to get him to cooperate. Hank looked Gao Fei up and down, smiled and said, Our team is short of manpower recently, and we want to recruit a young man. I think you have good conditions and courage. Are you interested? This. Gao Fei didn't answer immediately, but thought deeply. Aunt Wang couldn't help but persuaded, Gao Fei, the police is a good job with a formal establishment, good salary, and respect, and you should agree. Hank curled his lips and said honestly, don't rush to make a decision, this job is not as good as what Ms. Wang said, we have to be on call 24 hours a day, and often turn day and night upside down. You have to work day and night. Besides, this job is quite dangerous, and if you want to be a police officer, you have to be prepared to die in the line of duty at any time what preparation. Hearing this, Gao Fei raised his eyebrows. Hey! Hank was stunned when he heard the words, and then repeated, prepare to die in the line of duty, if you want to be a police officer, you have to be prepared to die in the line of duty at any time. Very well, I joined. Goofy nodded swiftly, we will be colleagues in the future, Officer Hank. Hank was quite surprised that Gao Fei didn't play cards according to the routine. He squinted at Gao Fei and wondered if this kid had a tendency to take risks. Just like extreme sports enthusiasts, 
people with adventurous personalities like to walk on the tip of a knife. If life lacks danger and excitement, they will feel restless and restless. Although Hank needs to find a brave and fearless colleague, it does not mean that he needs to find a guy who likes to muffle the death. Excessive pursuit of dangerous police will bring unnecessary risks to the team, and even become the engine of the team. So before recruiting Goofy, Hank had to make sure he wasn't a risk-taking personality. Do you like bungee jumping? Hank asked tentatively. I've never jumped, I'm afraid of heights. Gao Fei answered truthfully. What about drag racing? Hank asked again. I haven't tried it, my heart can't take it. Goofy told the truth. Hank observes his words and sees that Goofy is not lying. A person with an adventurous tendency will never be afraid of heights, let alone the state of his heart. From this point of view, Goofy is not an adventurous personality, so he will is he simply a brave and selfless good guy who is not afraid of sacrifice? Tisk tisk. Hank nodded lightly. Gao Fei pops up data in the background. Admiration from Hank plus one I'll leave you a call and give me a copy of your resume tomorrow. You don't need to make it too pretty, but your personal information must be real, understand? Understood. Gao Fei nodded in agreement. I will arrange an entry medical examination for you in the past two days. I will call you the day before to inform you. If there is no problem, I will arrange your entry as soon as possible. Hank said again. Okay. Gao Fei agreed. He wished he could take up the job as soon as possible today. After explaining these matters clearly, Hank turned around and left. Aunt Wang was overjoyed and took Gao Fei's arm to congratulate him. Great, we're going to be policemen Gao Fei. This is a majestic job. I see who would dare to bully us Chinese in the future. There aren't many Asian police officers in Brooklyn. You really give us Chinese pride. In Brooklyn, the social status of the Chinese has always been at the bottom. A few years ago, the Chinese were stolen and robbed in Brooklyn, and the police would not even accept the report. In recent years, with the increasing number of Chinese and a series of anti-discrimination campaigns, the status of Chinese in Brooklyn has improved, but Chinese police officers are still a rare species in the NYPD, and the total number of Chinese police officers in New York does not even exceed 2%. Once Gao Fei, who is of Chinese descent, joins the NYPD, it will definitely be a boost to the Chinese in Brooklyn. Aunt Wang chatted happily, and a figure came out of the apartment. Mom, let the guests in, what's the matter with hanging people at the door? Gao Fei followed the reputation and saw the girl from Aunt Wang's house. Aunt Wang is right, this girl is indeed a beautiful beauty. She has the exquisite figure of a southern girl, and she dresses with the unrestrained sexiness of a westerner. She has long black hair behind her head, and her delicate facial features are very in line with oriental aesthetics. Oh, yes yes yes, hurry into the house, hurry into the house. Aunt Wang hurriedly dragged Gao Fei into the house and hurriedly introduced him, This is my girl, Ji Qian. Hi, my name is Cheng Ji Qian. Ji Qian smiled and said generously. I'm Gao Fei. Gao Fei greeted politely and gave him red wine, this is a gift for visiting. Thank you. Ji Qian took the red wine and nodded with a smile. Aunt Wang smiled ambiguous next to her, her eyes narrowed. Sitting at the dinner table, Aunt Wang served carefully cooked crabs. Cheng Jiaqian eats crabs much more quietly, and specially brought a set of eight crabs from the kitchen. Aunt Wang's mind was not at the dinner table at all, she patronized to match the two young people. Ji Qian is currently studying for a master's degree in public administration at NYU. After graduation, she will work in the community. I don't ask my girl to do any career. I'm content with finding a job that guarantees income during droughts and floods. Although Auntie Wang has been in the United States for nearly 30 years, she still has traditional Oriental thoughts in her bones, and Cheng Jiaqian, who grew up under the influence of Western culture, obviously does not agree with Auntie Wang's rhetoric, so she quietly turned over impatiently. 
white eyes. Gao Fei patronized the crabs, no matter what Aunt Wang said, he kept nodding. Although Jessie grew up in the United States, she has always been unable to integrate into the local circle. Except for a few white friends, most of her friends are Asian. Auntie Wang rambled, the Asians in New York have always been less, it will be even more difficult to deal with a partner, seeing that Ji Qian has a master's degree, she has never had a serious relationship. Mom! Cheng Jiaqian couldn't listen anymore, and threw the crab shell in her hand on the table. What's the rush? Young people should be brave enough to accept criticism. Ms. Wang plausibly said, dealing with an object is also a kind of life skill, and no object indicates that this skill is unqualified. After speaking, Aunt Wang did not forget to pull Gao Fei into the water, are you right, Gao Fei? Gao Fei didn't listen at all, nibbling on the crab legs and nodding, yes. Auntie is right. Cheng Jiaqian's face turned pale with anger, she threw the tool in her hand, and the crab didn't eat it. Aunt Wang was not in a hurry to get down, but turned her head and told Gao Fei's words. Gao Fei, how is your life skill? How about what? Gao Fei asked blankly. Auntie is saying, have you ever dealt with anyone? Auntie Wang asked again. There are a few. Gao Fei replied perfunctorily. According to the memory in the Marvel world, Goofy's love history is not monotonous. He secretly tasted the forbidden fruit when he was a sophomore in high school. How many, how many? Aunt Wang is a strict person and does not accept such general answers. Two. Gao Fei said decisively. Thinking back carefully, there are only two Goofy who can recall the name right now. Well, this is a suitable amount, not too much, and not without any experience. Aunt Wang muttered to herself. Cheng Jiaqian couldn't listen anymore, Yu Yu reading www. Yu Yu Gonshu.com angrily left the table and said, Mom, I finally understand, you are not thanking Gao Fei at all, you are arranging a blind date for the two of us. When Cheng Jiaqian said that, Gao Fei was also surprised, yes, this is a typical oriental blind date. But Gao Fei didn't care about that much, it was enough to have crabs, so while their mothers were facing each other, Gao Fei silently grabbed another crab. Aunt Wang was pierced on the spot, and she didn't blush. After all, she came over from the wind and waves, and the old aunt was not afraid. What's the matter with the blind date? Mom is not for your own good. Your father left early, and my mother is not in a foreign country to pull you so much. Is it easy for my mother? People foreigners bully our orphans and widowed mothers every day, and my mother thinks find a pillar for the family earlier. What's the matter? Have you understood the difficulty of mother? Then you can't just meet an Asian boy and arrange it for me. Cheng Jiaqian said desperately, This is my business, I should make the decision myself. Gao Fei is not the Asian boy I met by the way, he is your mother's benefactor. And he's going to be a police officer soon, NYPD. Auntie Wang has become a diehard Gu Fei fan. So you're going to sell your daughter's color to find a police support for our family, right? That's what you mean, right? Cheng Jiaqian became angrier the more she said it. Oh, yo, Cheng Jiaqian, you're so good, don't feel too good about yourself, do you think you are Sai Diao Chan? You even betrayed your color, just based on your beauty, your mother feels it for you. Shame. Aunt Wang had sharp teeth and she was not at all inferior to her daughter with a master's degree. Gao Fei saw that the quarrel between the two girls became more and more fierce. He knew that he couldn't get involved, so after eating the crab, he wiped his hands with the tablecloth and slipped out of Aunt Wang's apartment while no one noticed. When I walked out of the apartment, it was exactly 8.30 in the evening. At this time, Brooklyn was in crisis, and criminals were ready to act. Of course, Gao Fei wouldn't waste this great opportunity. After finishing his clothes, he was about to go for a walk in the black area. Unexpectedly, before he left the residential area, 
an anxious cry for help came from not far away. Can anyone help? Come and help. Gao Fei looked at the prestige and saw an old white lady desperately asking for help. She shouted and looked up nervously. Gao Fei followed her gaze and saw a one or two year old man on the balcony of the fifth floor apartment. The child climbed to the windowsill with half of his body leaning out. If this child shakes it twice, Bachin will fall from the fifth floor. The situation is extremely dangerous. At this time, the old lady saw Gao Fei, and hurried over for help. Young man, help me, I just went out to buy paper and forgot my keys, so I can't get in. Only my little grandson is left at home, who knew he climbed onto the balcony. Please save him, please you. Seeing that the child is looking out for another point, he may fall from the sky at any time. The situation at this time is extremely critical, and there is really no room for delay. Gao Fei pondered for a while, and patted the old lady on the shoulder. Don't be afraid, I'll help you. Having said that, he jumped up the fire ladder outside the building, and then climbed all the way up. For Gao Fei, who suffers from acrophobia, this is a good opportunity to die. Climb up to the fifth floor with your bare hands to save people, or you might have to fall to your death when you climb halfway. In line with the principle of being responsible to the old lady, Gao Fei gave a friendly reminder as he climbed, Old lady, don't have too much hope for me, I have acrophobia, so I may not be able to save your grandson. When the old lady heard this, the young people who were afraid of heights would risk their lives for the unfamiliar children, and bravely climbed a five-story building to carry out rescue. What a way-inspiring righteousness! So, worship from Catherine plus five, worship from Catherine plus five. Gao Fei simply collapsed. Old lady, don't patronize me and look for other helpers. I'm not reliable. The old lady turned a deaf ear, clenched her fists, and shouted seriously. Come on. Come on, young man. Gao Fei was extremely helpless, so he had to continue to climb up, and in a blink of an eye he climbed to the third floor, where the child was already half hanging in the air. Damn, this child is more deadly than me. Gao Fei gritted his teeth and pushed his hands and feet up. After raising two levels, his strength and agility surpass ordinary people, and his climbing speed is also very fast. The old lady was dumbfounded, and frantically added worship value to Goofy. Gao Fei was a burst of despair the worship value contributed by this old lady by herself is about to catch up with the group of passers-by at the intersection of death. He won't be able to die anymore. But at this time, Gao Fei was already in a four-story high-rise building. If he fell from here, he would have at least a 60% chance of dying. But when he saw the babbling child upstairs, he saw a self-blame and anxious face downstairs. Grandmother, Gao Fei felt a sense of responsibility inexplicably. Let's save the child first, it's up to the gods to die or not. Gao Fei made up his mind and pushed his feet up again. At the same time, the dead child gently probed towards Gao Fei, lost his balance in an instant and fell from the balcony. Show. The old lady hissed and screamed, her voice was extremely shrill. However, at the moment when the child fell, Gao Fei stretched out his arm and grabbed the child's overalls. Caught. There is no danger. The child was grabbed by Goofy when he just fell. The old lady cried with joy, covered her face and cried bitterly, Thank you, hero, you are the hero of my family and the savior of my grandson. Worship from Catherine plus six worship from Catherine plus six worship from Catherine plus six. Gao Fei quickly shook his head, I'm not a hero. Don't worship me, I'm really not a hero. At this moment, another piece of data jumped out from the background. Worship from Changja Ikian plus five worship from Changja Ikian plus five worship from Changja Ikian plus five. Gao Fei suddenly panicked. What the is this? Five minutes ago, Aunt Wang and Chang Jiaqian, who had been quarreling fiercely, finally realized that Gao Fei had quietly left. Aunt Wang felt extremely guilty, and quickly asked Chang Jiaqian to carry a few crabs to Gao Fei. 
Although Chang Jiaqian was unhappy in her heart, she did not take out her anger at Gao Fei. After all, everything was made by her own mother's arrogance, and Gao Fei, an outsider, could not be blamed. Speaking of which, Chang Jiaqian still sympathizes with Gao Fei. After all, Gao Fei is a victim just like her. They are just doing good deeds and doing good deeds. Who would have thought that they would save a crazy old aunt who was obsessed with selling her daughter? Unexpectedly, as soon as she walked to the door of the apartment, Chang Jiaqian heard her neighbor, Aunt Catherine, cheering, and when she looked up again, she was stunned on the spot. I saw Gao Fei climbing up the fire ladder like Tarzan of the Ape, and the target was the half-length child on the balcony. The situation in front of him was obvious, and Gao Fei was acting bravely. Didn't he say, he's afraid of heights? Chang Jiaqian murmured, and a feeling of admiration suddenly surged in her heart. Mom is right, he's really, a good guy. Come on, fly high, come on. Seeing Gao Fei keep going up, Chang Jiaqian couldn't help cheering for him along with Catherine, but when he grabbed the falling child, Chang Jiaqian almost screamed with excitement. That's great. It's really great. Goofy hugged the child tightly, and then rolled over along the balcony to enter the house. His fear of heights was not as serious as he thought, and climbing on the fifth floor would not make him fall. Soon he carried Joe downstairs and handed the little doll back to his grandmother. Don't let others know about this, otherwise you will be deprived of custody. Gao Fei reminded kindly, there is still a long snack in the future, so don't let this happen again. Thank you. Thank you. Catherine burst into tears. Yu Yu reading www.yukancha.com strong self-blame made her never forget today's lesson. Gao Fei didn't stay long, and turned around to leave. Chang Jiaqian, who was standing not far away, quickly chased after her and shouted in a low voice, Gao Fei. Oh, Jesse. Gao Fei pretended to be surprised, why are you here? In my heart, there was a burst of slander, what kind of mess are you here to wrap up? Added dozens more worship points to me. My mother asked me to bring the crab to you, and I think I owe you an apology. Cheng Jiaqian said with a blushing face, my mother is so absurd that she arranged a blind date without your permission. It doesn't matter, she is a typical oriental parent. Many oriental parents are like this. Gao Fei said with a smile. Don't blame her too much, there are too many differences between Eastern and Western cultures. Hey! Ji Qian looked at Gao Fei with a puzzled face, didn't you grow up in Brooklyn? Why do you feel like you know a lot about Eastern culture? Uh! Gao Fei concealed a smile, I'm more knowledgeable. Is that so? Cheng Jiaqian didn't doubt, she handed the crab to Gao Fei, hey, the crab is for you. Thank you. Gao Fei smiled lightly, then turned to leave. That's right. Cheng Jiaqian suddenly said, If I have time another day, I'll treat you to a meal alone, as an apology for my mother. Oh. Gao Fei looked back at Ji Qian, in this case, wouldn't Aunt Wang succeed? Cut. Ji Qian's cheeks flushed, and she muttered in disapproval, This is our own business, what does she do? What does it have to do with us if she fails? Gao Fei laughed and nodded in agreement, okay, then we'll settle it. It's settled. Ji Qian smiled when she heard the words. Auntie Wang's crabs are a sweet burden, and carrying these crabs flying high, there is no way to go to the rescue. So he could only go home first, put the gift back in the refrigerator, and then go out at night to continue his road to death. When returning to the downstairs of his apartment, Gao Fei suddenly heard someone calling him. Flying high. Flying high. Hey. Gao Fei was stunned for a moment, and looked around with the crab in his hand. I saw that the man who called him was a white young man, squatting under a street lamp not far away, and Gao Fei squinted his eyes and recognized his identity. This young man's name is Chris, and he is his high school classmate. The two have a good relationship and often fool around together. Chris, 
Do you want to eat crabs? Goofy shook the crab in his hand and said with a smile. Eat your sister's crabs. Chris said nervously, You are in a disaster, and you are still in the mood to eat crabs. A catastrophe is imminent. Gao Fei became excited when he heard this, Is there such a thing? What a catastrophe, tell me quickly. Chris looked around vigilantly, then lowered his voice and asked, I'm asking you, did you do it for Sean? I heard that you caught him on the spot when he robbed Jixiang supermarket. That's what happened. Gao Fei nodded, what? What? How dare you ask? Chris stared, you've stabbed a big basket, and old Taylor is now looking for you with his group of brothers, threatening to drive you out of Brooklyn. Old Taylor. Goofy asked suspiciously, Old Taylor is. Sean's dad. Chris said solemnly, The hoodlum boss on 9th Street, he's not the same as his stupid son who swindled with fake guns. This old man is a ruthless character. I just like ruthless characters. Gao Fei was more surprised when he listened to it, How ruthless is this old Taylor? Chris looked at Gao Fei with a broken face, Gao Fei, what's wrong with your boy? This is not a joke. Old Taylor and his brothers used to reject you Chinese people, and now you are putting your son back. If you are sent to the bureau, he will definitely not spare you, why don't you go out of the city and hide for a few days? You can borrow and stay at my aunt's house. Hiding. Gao Fei smiled lightly, hiding is not my style, I'm going to find him. WTF. Chris's face turned green. You guys are eating crabs? What are you doing with him? Gao Fei sneered, what? Don't the old Taylor family like to bully the Chinese? I want to see how he's going to bully me. Hey. Brother, calm down. Chris grabbed Gao Fei's arm and persuaded in a low voice, I know you can't stand old Taylor bullying the Chinese, and I also know you want justice for your Chinese compatriots but old Taylor they are numerous and powerful, and you are by no means their opponent. If you really want to resist their discrimination against Chinese, I can help you organize some social activities, but don't be them, you will die terrible. I don't care if I die or not, I'm very happy if I die. Goofy patted Chris on the shoulder, but I doubt whether old Taylor has the ability to kill me. Goofy. Chris became more and more broken down, my brother. Don't be so impulsive, listen to my advice, okay? However, before he finished speaking, a red heavy-duty pickup suddenly turned at the intersection. Oops, it's old Taylor's car. Chris' face turned pale, Goofy, run, they're coming for you. No, Chris, run away, I'll meet them. Goofy said calmly, and handed the crab to Chris, the crab is for you, it's delicious. After speaking, Gao Fei strode towards the pickup. Old Taylor. Hey. It's me who sent your scum son into the game. Who told him to only bully the helpless old aunt. To be honest, he is really a coward, who can teach such a coward son, you're not going anywhere, are you? Under the management of the superhero system, Gao Fei can only make provocations of this level. He originally wanted to go too far but unfortunately it was automatically blocked by the system. The pickup slanted over, and then braked directly in front of Gao Fei, and then four people got out of the car. These four people were tall, burly white men. The grizzled burly man who was driving was obviously Sean's father, Old Taylor. This guy had bloodshot eyes, yellow teeth, tattoos all over his shoulders and arms, and strode toward Gao Fei with a squat. The three strong men in the back were gearing up and ready to move. Yellow pig, what did you say? Old Taylor asked in a deep voice, his knuckles snapping. Goofy originally just wanted to die, but Old Taylor aroused his anger as soon as he opened his mouth. Pay attention to your words, old man, all the consequences of your son are what he deserves. In addition, I warn you, don't think that the Chinese are easy to bully. Don't go to harm the orphans, widows and mothers, come to harm me. I'm not coming. Old Taylor smiled grimly, 
his yellow teeth shining under the street light, hurry up and go to the local prosecutor to testify, saying that you misunderstood my son, let him release him, and then go back to your hometown on the other side of the ocean for me, or I will kill you. Take my life. Gao Fei looked at old Taylor and his helper disdainfully, I wish you had this ability, but it seems that it is more difficult for you to rely on these little trash fish. Fuxk, it's time to teach you a lesson. Old Taylor spit out angrily, and threw his fists towards Jafei. Gao Fei wanted to die, but he couldn't get angry with the words yellow-skinned pig by old Taylor, so the fighting skills rewarded by the system came in handy. He dodged his fist and kicked the old tailor's belly. It's too late to beat him first, and then kill him. Oh! Old tailor was severely injured, and he was relieved immediately. He bent over to cover his lower abdomen, and grimaced in pain. Gao Fei had data popping up in the background. Worship from Chris plus 3 Gao Fei has a black line on his face. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com This kid is watching the battle in the dark. Before old Taylor could relax, Gao Fei kicked him again, this time on old Taylor's chin, and two golden teeth flew out. This is the price of that yellow pig. Old Taylor was directly kicked to the ground, spat out a mouthful of blood in two convulsions. Looking at him looking for teeth all over the floor, Gao Fei could be considered to vent out in one breath. Next, it was time to extract the last value of this group of people and die in a down-to-earth manner. Looking back at old Taylor's three helpers, Gao Fei beckoned, Come on, let's do it, I won't fight back this time. The three of them looked at each other, but none of them dared to come up. Gao Fei looked helpless, What are you doing? Come on. I will never fight back this time, hurry up and deal with me ruthlessly. After all. Gao Fei specially put his hands behind his back. Only then did the three helpers feel relieved and rushed towards Gao Fei together. But at this time, the survival instinct of the superhero system comes into play. When the host encounters danger, the system will make an instinctive self-rescue behavior. That is to say, when the three helpers of old Taylor rush up to attack, Gu Fei will if you take the initiative to capture it. The system will also automatically gain control of Gao Fei's body, allowing him to resist. So, Gao Fei kicked the first person's calf, and then grabbed the second person's fist. Although the third person threw himself on Gao Fei's waist, he was easily twisted away by Gao Fei, and he took advantage of the situation with his knee. Hit his point. A few seconds later, old Taylor and his three helpers all fell to the ground and screamed looking extremely embarrassed. Gao Fei was quite embarrassed, scratched the back of his head and said, Oh, I'm sorry, I really didn't plan to fight back, it's all an instinctive reaction.